Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I go ahead and start this video, I just want you guys to know that the next video that's coming out probably tomorrow is going to go over the new uh, Path of Exile League dev, uh, Delve. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue this video. So I want to go ahead and update you guys with my Unholy Paladin. I'm currently level 118 and this is the end of day three. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into a Terror difficulty, which is the second act. And just show you guys a little bit about the character. Okay. Let me just turn some of these settings down just a little bit. Okay. So, um, if you guys watched the second video, then or the previous video, you'll know that I am doing a Vessel of Justice build. I believe on the forums, I think people play this build. It's called the Lazy Paladin. Um, anyway, though. Basically, I'm using Vessel of Justice, which, as you can see here, um, shoots... Uh, every 0 0.16 seconds. Um, I'm also using life and death which adds seven additional targets to it. We use Demi Urge which gives us a shit ton of total stats uh, which is really good for scaling in general percentage max life which works really well with percentage max life regeneration. Um, so things like Tainted Blood work really well with that which is a huge defensive buff. We also have things like Stormlord, which gives us a ton of all attributes, which is really important for kind of like just gearing up your character and things like that. I just realized that the music is actually really low. Okay. Um, so to go over my gear and things that I currently have, let me actually... Oh, is this like bugged? Hold on. There we go. So we've got Super Beast as our buff, as our ultimate that we just unlocked. Um, this gives us a ton of spell damage. Now, I haven't really leveled it. I probably need to level it, but uh, anyway, I haven't leveled it yet. The spell damage is super good because it scales uh, our, pretty much all of our skills. So that one skill that's physical damage, which is Vessel of Justice, and it also scales like the Poison on Symphony of Destruction, um, which is another one that we use. And the other big thing to really note is what I've done with my gear. So if you look at my gear now, I don't know if you guys saw from the previous video, I'm just kind of going to go ahead and hover over all of the gear that I have. Um, I've went out of my way to, well, I guess this is what you would do. It's not really going out of your way, but my goal is to get plus Paladin skill levels on pretty much everything. Um, the other goal is to, here we go. The other goal is to get as much armor as we can. Now, we don't really have that much armor for hell progression, but 75k defense going through the second difficulty, I pretty much cakewalk through most content. Some things would still just annihilate me, but I mean... I don't know, some things are just crazy in, in this mod. Um, I also got these plus one all skills rings, which ended up being really solid. Uh, and I made this moon wrap sash, which is super good because it gives us 30% to physical and magical spell damage. Now, one of the big things I noticed with uh, Diablo 2 Median XL, uh, and one thing that I specifically didn't really utilize until recently, are actually these mystic orbs. These mystic orbs are the definition of being fucking overpowered. So to explain it to you how this works, um, you spend 13k gold for a mystic orb. Now, it may seem like a lot. I know I have zero gold right now, but literally, like, if you're over level 100 and you can farm, um, what are they called? Uh, not ancients, but after tier 6, you get another, another tier, basically. If you farm those and you just collect them, you literally can make, like, 3 to 500k in, like, 15 minutes. You can get 200k off of piece of gear in general so what these do is they add that stat to your piece of gear and increase the level required by four but the thing is is most uniques you're going to use are going to be like level 40 or 50 you can use a maximum of five and you can use multiple so i have like physical and magical spell damage on pretty much everything that i can not everything i still have to add some uh, i've got you know fill the resistance in here that you can see like on my jewelry uh, you can see this gives you know 500 what is it for 500 defense 500 defense 40 percent lightning res 20 percent poison res 10 percent physical uh slash magical spell damage this ring originally was just plus one to all skills that's it and you can see all the additional benefits it adds another good advantage of this that i'm thinking of doing is maybe getting all my resistances here and then just going flat hp on my gear but then i won't have extra plus to max Anyway, though, that's pretty much enough of that. Let me go ahead and jump in and show you guys how this build works. Now, I may actually get completely obliterated. Uh, these cows are really fucking mad, so let's see if this is going to work out well or not. Let's go... Oh, I need to go get my... Let's go get our built-in map hack. Reveal the map for us, please, buddy. 
Okay. I'm actually really bad at identifying where in Stony Plains the actual, like, thing is. <laughs> the, the, I forgot what his name is. The little, little blue dude. Oh, here we go. It was over here. Okay. So with, by the way, with Demiurge on, we're 14.2k HP. Alright. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm supposed to have my Eye of Divinity in my inventory. Okay, I'll do a little bit more damage now. That's kind of important. This, this charm is actually, like, super crazy. So, really important to have this. I need to actually finish my Black Road challenges. I left early because, uh... Yeah, but Black Road challenges are going to be done tomorrow, and then we get to pump a shit ton of points into Blessed Life, so that's super exciting. Okay. Uh, is it Alt? Shift right click? Oh, I'm already out of gold. That's okay. Wait, does that mean I can't even buy a... Hold on, I got this. Give me this... Oh, I can't even buy a throwing knife. Okay, we got this. We're going to sell mana potions so that I can buy a throwing knife. Uh, uh, perfect sec. Okay, amulet. Perfect. Give me this so that I can shock in it with a law, and then it sells for 67k. Alright, cool. And then we're gonna go over here and buy the book so that we can do Mr. Cow level. Now, one thing to note when you're doing the cow level is you have to be really careful of Prince Rodiro, who is over here. Uh, this guy will pretty much desync and like insta kill you, so be very careful and make sure your run is not turned on. Uh, well, as you can see, uh, sometimes cows can be very upset, and even if you're level 118, they uh, <laughs> they can kill you quite fast. Uh, let me see if I can get a better demonstration for you guys. Hold on. Okay, that snapshotted. We're good. All right, let's try this again. Oh man, it, dude, it's really difficult sometimes to kill these fuckers. <laughs> what I noticed, what I noticed for me. The best method for killing these cows, because I didn't really farm them very much, is pretty much just kiting. It's pretty much just kiting with our teleport, and that's pretty much about it. It's like not really doing... Oh, oh, the Cow King is there. As you can see, Mr. Cow King will uh, will do that blink right there, and he'll kind of he'll kind of do that to you. Let me see if I can like. I guess I can't really show you guys. I promise my guy is kind of tanky, but I guess it's really hard to explain it in these types of games because, you know, whenever you think you're tanky, you just die. So let me see if I can... No! No, 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 that's not going to work. That's that's not going to work at all. So let's uh, let's instead, maybe I can uh, I can show you... Uh, I'll, go to, I'll go do a ball run for you guys. Although we don't really do much single target, so that's probably not the best, but shh. Okay. Uh, let me go grab the waypoint. Not waypoint, the uh, map hack dude. Now this guy is also really fucking mad who I'm about to go to and it took me like a long ass time to kill him last time. So I would not, will not be surprised if it takes me like a few minutes to kill him. That's good or not. Wait, did I just go backwards? Wait, what?
World Stone Keep level 2? Wait. Wait, what just happened? I just juked myself, I think. Alright, sir. Oh, Shimmering Shrine. I haven't used these to craft yet, but these are definitely... This is like one of the next steps I think I have to do is start crafting with things like this. Shift home. I do have a loot filter too. Is this it? There we go. Inject the drop filter. So yeah, I mean, one of the big things left to do with the character is get, like, a shit ton more of defense. I don't even know how much defense I'm gonna need. I have 80k now, maybe like 800k to survive some stuff. Uh, I'm also gonna need to probably think of single target because my single target is, like, mediocre when it comes to bossing. I noticed that these dudes that I use uh, from time to time are pretty decent, but I don't really have much points in them right now. They're one of 19, so I can respec around to that because... Symphony is destruction of destruction as much as I really like the skill a big problem with it is I stack physical and magical damage and it's poison um, The benefit of slayers is that slayers are magic damage and they're summons, but they're not really summons They're more like turrets or like I guess totems uh, so they have much better synergy. So that's pretty That's probably what my solution is gonna be for single target. Oh, I leveled off these? These guys give pretty good XP then. Or maybe not. You gonna jump down, buddy? Is it time? Is it time to jump down? Or let us go fight you. Oh, sacred. This is what I was talking about, by the way, is like hoarding sacred gear and then essentially just like IDing it and selling it. Okay. You guys ready for the long fight? Here it comes. I don't even know if I have enough potions for this, actually. It's the black puddle. The black puddle is the OPOP. -OP. There also is one thing that kind of sucks. Um,. So my, my like, I don't know what it's called, I'll call it like, <laughs> my Archon form or whatever it's called. Oh, uh, my, this ability right here, Demiurge. If I use Demiurge, something really unfortunate happens, and I can't use my Blink, which is one of my like, I wouldn't call it an Uber skill, but it's on like that, this last page here. It's my Blink. And that Blink is really important for getting out of stupid shit like that. Um, and it sucks because Demiurge gives like such crazy incredible stats, which does also help with damage. Ever a juve pot? No a juve pot. No a juve pot, no apple. Sir, can you please stop being so rude? Let's go over here. Do I have a magic find potion? Oh, I do actually. Cool. War Scepter, Bone Helm, and Short Staff. You know the weirdest thing I always felt with Diablo 2? Whenever the bosses die and, like, your screen shakes, I feel like I have the best FPS when that happens. It's kind of weird, right? What are these? We got, uh, Stillwater Helm. Dream Swear. Plus two Amazon skill levels. A lot of Amazon, like, melee weapons, I feel. And then, this is the set piece we found. What was the last one I found? Demon Call. Plus two all skills. Plus 18 to Rune of Fire. 
Oh, we have a new skill called Rune of Fire. What does Rune of Fire do? Let me just see what this is. Rune of Fire is this skill here. The awesome thing about playing a Paladin though like this is even though I can't use the skill because I can't use the weapon, Demiurge allows me to use it anyway. So here we go. I can do this and then test out... Oh shit, where did Rune of Fire go? I forgot where it is now. Oh, here. Wait, what? Places a highly explosive landmine. Oh, shit. It puts down landmines? That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much about it from me. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what is going on. Uh, I know Monster Hunter Worlds did uh, release, I think, today as well. Unfortunately, my time schedule is kind of fucked right now, but I really do want to check that game out. Uh, so there is a good chance to potentially see that game on the YouTube as well. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. But remember, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Actually, I think I just said that. Uh, and remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Sorry, my brain's a little fried from playing today. <laughs> Have a wonderful time, everybody. Take care, everybody. Hashtag Moomoo for a cow king kill.